Casey Wizkid here with something I wanted to talk to you about why and how to protect yourself, your anonymity online with a VPN. Why would you use a VPN? Why do you care to use a VPN? Well, there are many different reasons that people have been using for years now VPNs. I've used VPNs in the past and uh, I've meant to make this video a long time ago, but I thought this would be a good time, right? Because many people believe that privacy is a basic right that we should all have, right? And if you want to protect yourself online, um, not just from hackers and from malware and viruses, but your anonymity, yourself. Many people have used VPNs for years for reasons such as these. I'm not saying that these are good or bad reasons. I'm listing the reasons that I've heard, said, and also read many people say they are using VPNs for these reasons. And you're not limited to just this, of course. There are many more reasons why you would want to use a VPN. There are many benefits that everyone can get from a VPN. It just depends for what reasons, right? Uh, now, a lot of people say, well, if you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to worry about. And that's true. That's very true. But what's the problem now is that many people uh, are getting their privacy um, how should I say this, um, violated, right? And uh, if you don't want that and you want uh, to prevent from being tracked, logged, traced, watched, you name it, then a VPN is going to help you, right, in, 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 those, in those places. Now, I'm not saying that people don't use this for nefarious purposes or other types of reasons. I'm sure there's all kinds of reasons that people use VPNs for, but these are a list of the most common ones that I've found that people use VPNs for. So, if, uh, for example, you've been surfing on websites on the uh, online and you've encountered messages um, that say, for example, sorry, this content is not available from your location, and all you wanted to do is go and read a, a, an article or watch a, a, a video on the news or something, and uh, unfortunately, you're just blocked. You just uh, can't see that, right? And so, a lot of people have been using VPNs now for quite some time to get around this issue. And this is just one example of many, like I said a, sh a second ago, uh, on why um, you would use a VPN. Why? Because uh, as many know, VPNs not just um, encrypt uh, your traffic, but also allow you to set up a connection as though you're coming from a different location. So when you look for a VPN service, you want something that has reliable connections, many locations throughout the world. An unlimited data plan would be great so that you're not uh, cut off and uh, limited to the use of the service. Different connection modes, strong encryption, of course. Additional features would be nice. And uh, obviously good technical support in case you have problems and you're not sure how to set things up. And um, like I said, I've been using VPNs for a while and there's one VPN that I wanted to talk about now, I'm telling you, they're not, they're not sponsoring me in any way. I'm not trying to sell this to you. I'm not giving you any links to go ahead and download this and make you money off of this. I'm not an affiliate, but I wanted to show you Winscribe as an example here. Okay, so Winscribe has unlimited data. They have lots of locations here, 50 countries, 100 cities, and they keep adding stuff. And uh, they have a configurator, so OpenVPN. That's very important to me when I look for uh, configuring on my own, uh, my VPN settings, for example. And uh, Robert, they just added this new feature which allows at the DNS level to block uh, malicious uh, content and, and ads and things like that. The plan here is quite affordable. Obviously, when you're searching, you want to keep the price in mind as well. And uh, I'm obviously looking at that as well. And $50 US for a year, $4 a month roughly is a great deal. Okay, so it's very comparable and, and competitive with regards to other I, ISPs. And of course, remember, you get what you pay for. Um, and also they keep adding more features like the static IP uh, feature, right? If you want to get more and more uh, options, you can you can add that to your plan. Now, if you want to try this out, they've got a free option, of course, that gives you a limited amount of locations that you can uh, connect through with the VPN and, and, uh, and enjoy. And uh, in my case, for this review, I've got the pro account, so that $4 a month uh, account that I showed you there. And uh, that enables all of those countries, right? And each of those countries have specific cities and locations, right? So a large network is always key. Uh, one thing that's very important also for folks when it comes to their, their anonymity 
is making sure that logs are not kept about what they do, right? We don't want traffic uh, to be logged about what you're doing, where you're going, all of that stuff. That's your business, not other people's business, right? So that's very, very important. So you want strong encryption so that people uh, can't see what uh, necessarily you're viewing, what you're reading, and so forth. You know, your anonymity, it's your private life, it's what you do. It's none, none of other people's business, unless you get paid for that, of course. If you get paid uh, to read stuff and people want to track that, fine, so be it. Uh, but when you set this up, you know, as a simple client on your desktop, you want to make sure that it's not complicated to set up. And I, I like how Winscribe has set up support for your Mac, for your Windows PC, for your Linux, uh, you know, uh, server, desktop, whatever. I mean, they have it set up really nicely. They spent some serious time developing uh, the client interface. Their support site is very nice. I do like especially um, their uh, setup guides. So I've used those myself, of course, to uh, get started and get familiar with all the features and what they had to offer. And uh, it's very well written, very well done. Lots of videos uh, on there as well on, on how to's. Uh, I downloaded, of course, uh, the Windows client, but if you don't want to use the Windows client, which they show here in this video, you can manually set things up. So if you're hardcore into not using their nice little Windows client and you want to use the built-in Windows 10 features to set this up, well, so be it. You can do that too. And they tell you how to do it through here. So, you know, it's very important that you sign up with a VPN service that really has your back, right? That they really want you to use this properly. They don't want you to have hassle setting things up and you want a wide range of support for all types of devices and hardware. So uh, again, I like the way that uh, they have support for the open VPN for your uh, specific type of routers. NAS, I love it. I have a NAS and I actually set up my open v VPN through the NAS as well and that worked great. So uh, I have a VPN on the NAS. And uh, well, what can I say? This is the client here, okay, uh, running on the browser, on my web browser. You can see here that when you click on it, it allows you to either set it on automatic or choose a specific location that you want to go through. So, for example, I like to use the USA East or Canada East. I'm on the East Coast, so I use anything that's East and uh, that has a good, um, uh, I guess, ping rate, if you want to call it, good latency, good connection speed. Uh, that's what I always look for in a VPN um, because you do suffer a little bit. It has a WinFlix. Uh, Netflix really is what what it really refers to. So you can simulate that you're in the U.S. or in Canada or in the U.K. Uh, Netflix, for example, and access other Netflix um, uh, services, I guess. Uh, now, when it comes to uh, setting this up, I recommend having both the uh, client on your desktop. So in my case, I have the Windows client running and the add-on, the extension for Google and Firefox. So I have all three installed. So that way I'm covered all across the board. If you want a whitelist and have direct connections to certain websites because you don't want it to use the VPN because you trust it, fine. You can uh, whitelist it and allow it to go through. Uh, it's very nice uh, the way they set that up. Under the preferences, of course, here in the browser, you can also check a few options. But of course, I like to set up the preferences at the um, client. Okay, so one thing that you're going to do when you go to Winscribe, for example, if should you decide to sign up uh, and you have a Windows operating system, you're going to download both your browser extension and you're going to download the Windows client. In my case, I downloaded both Chrome, the Chrome client and the Windows client so I can have those both running. Uh, and, and the Windows client will control the, uh, the browser uh, and, and help it, okay? So that way they're in sync, basically, all right? Um, so it's all there. It's easy to understand. It's intuitive. You're not going to have any problems navigating and, and, and getting familiar with what's what. I'm going to show you now uh, the Windows client, okay? And then I'll show you a little bit about the OpenVPN and how I set that up on the NAS so you can get an, a feel for that as well. Uh, and, and understand about the features. Now, I went ahead and downloaded the Windows client. I, I double clicked on the exe file and ran it, and it installed this tiny little uh, uh, application, I guess, for, for Winscribe to automatically run whenever I uh, uh, start up uh, Windows. You can obviously set that to not start up, and I'll show you that in just a second, in the preferences, okay? So, lightweight client, easy to use. You run it. By default, it's turned off. You can see it's dark gray. I have uh, Boston East Coast location set up there, as you can see. Um, when you turn it on, basically, it'll turn blue. Okay, that that 
uh, Windows client. Right now it's turned off, as you can see. It has also a firewall feature, so that way, regardless of what you do, if you're not connected um, through Winscribe, you will not be able to connect outside of the network, so that's great in case you forget to uh, turn on Winscribe accidentally, so that's a very nice little feature there. So once you click on that round circle there, that on button, it'll connect to your preferred location. Okay, in this case, like I showed you a second ago, the Boston location had a good latency, good IP, uh, uh, ping rate. If you scroll down that list of locations, you'll see every country, and it also indicates some countries you know, don't support the P2P uh, file transfer through the VPN, so not to use those countries for uh, torrents, for example. Don't use that, but you can use the other countries for, for your torrenting, should, should that be one of the reasons why you got this. Under the preferences, when you click on the hamburger there menu at the top, like I said, you'll be able to set this up to launch on startup and connect automatically to your last location. Very handy, very easy, intuitive. Um, you can obviously turn these off or on the way you want it. And under the connection um, tab at the top there, you can set this to, autom to automatically have a connection mode that suits your location or manually set it up to uh, what you want. And those are the different modes. I like the I kv2 mode that's the fastest one uh that i seem to have the best success uh when it comes to my uh you know speed and, and connection here are what all these different modes mean you can pause the screen at any time and read this over um the ports there's a good set of port support as you can see right there for each type of mode whether you're using udp tcp or you're using the stealth mode, which is a double double hop, basically going through through multiple um, multiple uh, IPs, I guess, if you want to call it, to really um, hide hide your location. But that does slow down your your connection. So remember, because this is encrypted, your connection to your through your ISP is going to be slower. Okay, regardless of of how fast you are, you will notice a, a percentage hit. Uh, on your speed when you download for example okay there's gonna be a download uh, restriction there a cap I guess you, you could call it uh, because uh, of the encryption and um, and that's that's something that the Windscribe folks have in place however overall streaming of videos things like that very fast very smooth no issues in HD I'm doing really well no complaints there okay now uh, I have the beta client installed here as you can see and in my Chrome and Firefox, I also went and did the add-on install from the uh, Winscribe. And again, remember, they do have a free version that you can try if you want. But uh, with the free version, you will have limited uh, bandwidth to try it with a month. So that way, um, you know, uh, they're not going to give you the full-blown unlimited plan, obviously, for, for, for the free version. So, But they do give you at least a version to, to, to try that works. Additional features that I mentioned that I like... The open VPN. So I have a NAS that has all my my you know pictures, videos, things like that that I like to 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 use, and maybe I'll go on the internet with with the NAS as well. So, you know, when you want to protect yourself on your on your NAS that I have in my settings on my NAS, I have the option to manually configure the open VPN, which again on the Winscribe website they have a support section that describes what to do step by step. I took that those instructions and I basically applied that in here so that I could connect to uh, different uh, locations with my NAS okay so very handy uh, I'm very happy about that uh, offering that feature and that it works okay so that's one thing that's there another thing that they've just added Robert at the DNS level they're actually being able to capture and handle any malware phishing botnets ad trackers stuff like that so you can enable this robot uh, a robot um, uh, feature I guess and 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 um, set it to the level that you want okay and those uh, are the configurations there for Robert so um, terrific uh, results so far and uh, really I mean this is something when it comes to anonymity protecting yourself because you know there's only so much that you can install on your machine and 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 sometimes it bogs it down too when you install all this antivirus and malware software and stuff like that so this is great that you don't even have to install all that those ad blockers and things like that just just the Winscribe itself will do the blocking for you right so terrific results there on the ad blocking feature um, speed test so 
when I don't enable Winscribe at all, so no encryption, nothing, just regular without the VPN, this is my speed on a test laptop using Wi-Fi through my ISP, okay? So through my ISP using Wi-Fi, this is what I'm getting. Check out the ping rate there, 11 milliseconds, okay? Not just the download and the upload speed, but the ping rate. And if I enable Winscribe, and then I start choosing different locations to test the speed of the download and the connection and so forth, here through, for example, Canada East, using that, uh, the ping rate now is 29. Acceptable, not too bad. Okay, there's a little bit of a hit there. The download speed also got a little bit of a hit, but very, very minor. Okay, less than uh, 5%, so not bad at all there on the hit. And if I switch over to the USA East, specifically Chicago, uh, again, the ping rate gets hit a little bit. All right, and we're still roughly at only about a 5% hit. On the uh, on the download, so very good. Uh, you know, when it comes to the connection of of the uh, speed, that's good. We're gonna get a little bit of a of a lag there on the ping, especially if I'm connecting to the UK from my location, right? Uh, from my location in North America to the UK over the sea, of course, getting to that location and back. There's a ping rate delay there as well, but the download is very strong. Okay, so those are the types of things that I look for. That's where Winscribe stands out. Terrific results. I urge you guys to check it out. Go to winscribe.com right now. Check it out for yourself. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.